guys, what's up? It's Zell here. Welcome back to the RPG Maker Fangin tutorials. Uh, I know it's been literally a year since the last one, and I'm sorry for that, but I I promise that I'm gonna make start making these videos more often now, so don't worry about that. Today we're gonna be going over how to make the menu in the game and how to make the title. So an example of the title would be this. And then the example of the menu looks like this. So there you go. This is what the menu looks like and you can also click. But okay, I will show you exactly what I use to make this. So, so the plugins you'll need for this one is the Yenfly Core Engine, the Yenfly Common Event Menu, Yenfly Common Event Menu Setup Pack 1, and Yenfly Common Event Menu Setup Pack 2, as well as the uh, Semarin and Dude Alt Menu Screens, Semarin and Dude Menu Backgrounds, and a few optional uh, ones for the menu will be the Yenfly uh, Safe Core and the Yenfly Options Core. So the first thing I'll go over is the Main Menu Manager. This allows you to change various aspects of the main menu. As you can see here, I've put hide the actor window and the blurry background. I made that true. The blurry background doesn't matter because we'll be replacing it anyway. Uh, hide gold window. I'd made that false because it's in the bottom right of the screen. Command alignment. Uh, command and lift position are both left. Command columns. You might not even need this one because um, I actually just use the alt menu screen from some random dude. Gold position, bottom. Command columns, seven. Command rows, two. Face position, that doesn't matter. And then Y offset is 30. That's just, these are my settings. And if you want to copy them, go ahead. Uh, and for the main menu manager, these are my settings as well. With those two things in mind, that will make it so that the menu will be, all the menu options here, up here, will be in a row. Again, big shout out to Laser Bunny for helping me with this. I will link her YouTube channel in the description. But uh, yeah, uh, she's the one who actually helped me configure this. So, so I'm going to show you how I made this background next. So this background was made with some random dude uh, menu backgrounds. Um, main men menu background one is handbook one and the rest, let's see, save background, handbook two. Uh, these are just images that I made to make the handbook look different and I'll show you what that looks like right now. So these are my menu screens. I have the main one here and then handbook two, which is just where the save op save and options are. And then this one, which will is a menu for the gifts and the students. So for this, keep in mind that you need to, how to set up the images, it'll tell you how to do it. You need to make a new folder uh, for some random dude and then put uh, another folder, which is menu, and then put your images in there and then put whatever images, image you want as your main menu, as, as whatever the name is of the image, put that there. And then same for the save and the options. The most important part of all this is the Yenfly common event menu, as well as the common event menu setup packs. These are just what you need to make this one work, but you don't technically need both of these, but the I use commands from both of these in order to make it work. So if we go here to my database, that's not my database. If we go to my database, you will see that I have a few things up here that are listed. Present students bullets rule book. These are uh, one through four, that's what I use for the common event menu, and I will show you that in a second. So, you need, uh, so, uh, present, uh, student, present students and also bullets, which I'm not going to show because there's spoilers in it, but presents, um, first thing I did was show the image of the, uh, handbook that I wanted, and then the next thing I did was set common event menu settings, sandwich reverse picture setup. What that basically means is this this sandwich reverse picture setup is, is saying that is showing you where the image is going to be and where the list of common events is going to be. 
The sandwich reverse picture setup it makes it so that the pictures are on the right side and the common events are on the left side. So, clear common event menu. You just need that to, to make it run. Add common event menu, 64, 65, 66, 67, okay, and so forth. Uh, oh yeah, this is for presents. So, uh, if I go to, you need to just basically show the whole list of all the things you're adding to the common event menu. So, 64 uh, lines up with my mineral water here, and then apple juice, chamomile tea, whatever. And so all the, you basically have to do that for all the gifts. Just write, you know, a list. Mine go all the way down to like, uh, here, 151. Uh, but yeah. So, present students is the same thing. Five, six, seven, you know, all through. So five is Sachiko, six, seven, eight. I hope this is making sense. Um, basically the presents and the students have the same menu, but just different common events. Hide common event menu help. Basically there's a help option with this, a help menu option with this plugin, but I don't use it. Common event menu picture opacity, common event menu subtext opacity, and common event menu, uh, common event menu opacity zero. This makes them, all the backgrounds of this invisible, so it's just your background, uh, your handbook background. And then open common event menu opens the menu. Rule book is basically just the same thing, I, except for I didn't use any of the lists here. I just used just a common event, a simple common event, play sound effect, that doesn't really matter, you know. Show picture handbook two, which is the school regulations one. And then I just have the list of the rules. For the presence and students, uh, for example, I'll show you what I have on each of the students' profiles. I'm actually going to screenshot this so I can make explain it better to you guys. So if I go to student list, you see the names are on the left side and the pictures on the right side. The picture can be anything, but I just make it these simple profile images. Cut that out, me. Yes, definitely cut that out. Oh my god, that has spoilers. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can show you guys this part of the, my uh, files. So, I have these normal profiles images that are very small, or like, they're, you know, just a, a small picture with just like a basic info. And then I also have these other uh, profiles for when you actually click on the event or click on the student, uh, so which are just different. It shows you what level, uh, what rank you are with them. And it's just basically the same thing, but just fancier. For example, when I click on Akira, well, I need this to be transparent, but I'll fix that. Uh, I, you basically just have this, um, Victoria, there we go. So this can be, yeah, this is what I want. Victoria is really, you know, it's just an ex description and then the character. I actually need to edit this, but whatever. Um, what I did was that I have, I have a variable for Victoria's free time events so that every time you do her free time event, it adds one to the variable so that you can use that value for specific things. Well, first I, uh, I put the comment picture and uh, profile Victoria, which is the profile image I showed you earlier. Comment, this is basically what you need to put if you want to put a picture. It's, you have to use the comment event. So Victoria, free time event equals zero, meaning the player has not activated the free time event at all. And it'll just show this one description and then I erase the picture and then just use an empty text so that the player can look at the bio for as long as they like. Victoria FTE equals one, meaning they went to her free time event once. So they're at rank one. Uh, and then I use this, I, I have Victoria zero, which is just showing the z level zero and then Victoria one, which is showing level one. And I use those for the different ranks. Let's go to presence. Presence is basically the same thing. I have the men the picture look like this. So when you select mineral water, it it's this is the picture it's is that is uh, on the right side. And then you select apple juice or you're hovering over apple juice 
and it's showing that you're hovering over it. It's kind of a roundabout way of doing it, but um, it works. So, And I'll go in more depth in the next video about what you do with the items and how you make them work in the FTEs. But basically, I show the picture, gift menu 1, which is this image for mineral water. It's selected. Um, and then the subtext is another command you use for for the plug plugin. Um, whatever the description of the item is. And then I have a variable here. Um, X meaning like this is the amount you have. And then slash V and then a var the variable of and then the variable of the uh, item. So every time someone gets an item, I add to that variable. I add one to that variable so that uh, this displays the variable of that item showing how many they have. If that doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to explain this. But I think that's the basics of the menu. Um, sorry, it's obvious. It is almost 2 a.m. <laughs> That's the basics of the menu. Now I'm gonna go on to how you make the title. So the only thing, I, the only plugin I use for the title is, the only plugin I use for the title is Mog Title Picture, if I can find it. There it is, Title Picture Com. The uh, directions are in a different language. <laughs> I think last episode I said, last video I said this was Spanish, but I'm pretty sure it's Portuguese. Could be wrong though. Maybe it's Spanish. I don't know what the language is. It's obviously in a different language, but you can translate the description or you can translate the help pretty easily. So here are my settings. I have animation mode 2 is a specific animation mode for the menu. Left and right input as true. Fade in duration. There, that can be anything you want, so however long it takes to fade into the menu. These are my settings if you want to look. There is the cursor, the title sprite, um, and the background. What you have to do for that is in titles too, there is a new game continue options credits as well. I don't use that one though. So basically it has you, you do the what it looks like select and then what it looks like unselected. Uh, Mog has a good demo project that you can download when you get the plugin. So you can open the project and see how it works. Sub zero, sub one, and sub three, or sub two, uh, also sub three, but I don't use that one. So sub zero, sub one, sub two. Those are the uh, images that show up on the side from when you select certain things. And then there's the title, which is just the title image. Uh, used to be this, oh, whoops. Used to be this, now it's this. And then you can also add particles the thing, fog, circles, all these certain things. I only I only use the cursor out of all these things. I just made it a clover. You can change the animation of it too. And then there is title one, which is just, well, this was the old one. This is the new one, um, which is just a based image with, of, you know, hope speak and then Sachiko on the left. I just have the images, the title. I make uh, title, this title two makes that the base. And then none for any of these, uh, the plugin will take care of the rest. Okay, I think that's all. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the, in the comments. I will try to uh, answer them if I can. I'm sorry if this was a really bad explanation. I tried recording this once before and it came out just as bad. So I don't think there's going to be any better way for me to explain it. But I tried my best. Here's a list of all the um, plugins that I used. I'll put them all in the description as well. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next video, which hopefully will not be that far from now. It's going to be explaining the Mono Mono Machine and the free time events. And then after that, I'll get to the class trial. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.